Hello chaps and welcome back to Tino Coke. Today we've got a very satisfying video for you guys. We're gonna be transforming this Porsche Macan GTS from this to this. As you can see chaps, the Porsche is covered in a very thick and hardened layer of dirt. Stay tuned to the end as I'll be taking you through each step on how I tackle this job in a safe manner. So let's start this wash with step 1, the wheels. I spray wheel cleaner onto the wheels before pressure washing them. I now form the wheel up and spray some more wheel cleaner for that extra bite as I use brushes in the mitt to agitate and remove that remaining dirt. A final pressure wash finishes these wheels off. Step 2, the pre-wash. With all of this dirt on the car, hitting it with a jet wash alone is just not enough as the dirt is solid and really stuck onto the car. So because of this, I use a combination of pre-wash spray to loosen and break down the dirt and then the snow foam to safely pull the dirt down while further softening it. This is a killer combo and really does a good job on heavily soiled cars like this. Be sure to give this video a like if you're enjoying this. Also, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Just look at that dirt bleeding off of the car. Step 3, the pressure wash. Look at how easy the dirt is being removed from the Porsche, very satisfying. So a lot of you must be thinking, Tino, how did this car get this dirty? Well, the client told me that he took it to a proper muddy off-road racetrack outside London. He also told me that he won the race, which is always good to hear. Anyways chaps, let me know in the comments below, have you ever raced someone on the track? If yes, did you win? Step 4, hand washing. I snow from the car again for extra lubrication and cleaning power in order to make this wash as safe as possible for the paintwork. I then gently go over the Porsche in straight lines with the Tino wash mitts, which I constantly replace as I go around the car. Step 5, 
so chaps, in different countries and regions, cars can get dirty a lot easier. For example, in London, cars don't get that dirty too quickly. So let me know which country or region you're from and if your car gets dirty quickly or not. Time to clean those small details which in the end make a big difference to the result. Step 5. Rinse off the shampoo. Throughout this wash, it is evident that there is no protection on the car as the water is just flat. We want this to bead and sheet off the car. So we will move on to step 6, the Tino Ceramic Snow Foam. Good news chaps, the Tina Sonic Snow Foam is now live. There has been a slight delay, however, all pre-orders have been shipped out and will be with you shortly. This is the easiest way to apply an even layer of protection to your vehicle. Just look at those beads. There's no better feeling than protecting a car. Step 7. I dry the car. Once a car is protected, it is hydrophobic and drying the car becomes very easy. Step 8. The gloss is cleaned. Step 9. The door shots are gone over. Step 10. Final check. I go over the car using a detail spray to increase gloss and deal with any imperfections. I also polish the exhaust tips too to give them that fresh shine. Step 11. The tires are shined and the rims are gone over. Step 12. Here are your results. Enjoy. We have transformed this Porsche Macan GTS. Just take a look at those before and after shots. It looks insane. So chaps, now you have all of the steps. You can clean your own car to perfection too. And be sure to subscribe for more tips, tricks and satisfying content. Here are two more videos I think you would like. See you in the next one chaps.